Hello everyone. So, now let us look at um, how we could uh, create uh, photons that could help us in amplification. So, that is the whole purpose of, of, of us starting uh, this whole discussion of trying to understand this different transition rates and so on. So, the purpose here is to um, create photons, uh, but not just creating photons for, our, for sake of it, but we want to create these photons in order to either amplify uh, or to create oscillations that should result in lasing. Okay. So, uh, let us look at this whole process of absorption and amplification. So, basically absorption is a lossy mechanism that means you are going to lose the photon, but then the amplification is the gain mechanism where you are going to generate more number of photons. So, let us see how we are going to um, you know uh, uh, get this uh, absorption a result in amplification. So, uh, let us pick up from um, where we left um, uh, in the last class. So, we, we, we had mentioned that we could write the absorption, um, uh, let us say the, 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 the rate as a function of photon flux that we have for both emission and also absorption here. Right. So, what the average power right. So, the average power that you have inside is uh, is nothing but the difference between the absorption in the material and the emission right. So, when you take a material here. So, I am putting a certain um, input uh, a power inside right um, uh, that is P naught let us say and then there is some power emitted right and then in the material there is some power that is absorbed. Right. So, what is the, the final uh, 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 you know uh, average or the net power? It is nothing but you know uh, the difference between the emitted and the uh, input power that is what is absorbed here. So, let us look at the difference between the absorbed uh, uh, power and the, the emitted power. So, that is your net power right. So, net power that we have. Uh, that is W p is nothing but H nu W 1 2 n 1 minus H nu W 2 1 n 2 right. So, here we can uh, cross out terms and it basically n 1 sigma a nu. So, that is your absorption n 2 sigma emission. So, this is our net power. So, between absorption and emission what is the difference? Um, so, when when W p is greater than 0 right that means, you have net power absorption net power that means, all the power is getting absorbed right from the food. And if W p is less than 0, then you have power net power is uh, flows through the flows from the medium. Okay. That means, there is generation here. Okay. Uh, so, let us look at uh, the, the absorption and generation uh, coefficient here, the absorption coefficient. what is absorption coefficient right. Uh, we have seen this absorption coefficient in a different avatar earlier on when we discussed about um, uh, the material dispersion here this is coming from the, the two level system. So, when you have a two level system what is that absorption is going to be. So, it is nothing but n 1 absorption here minus n 2 emission. Uh, in other words, n 1 minus g 1 divided by g 2. So, this is our absorption coefficient and then we have the emission or the gain right. So, the gain coefficient here is gamma nu 
which is n2 sigma e minus n1 sigma a. So, it is the inverse of what we have here. So, that would result in n2 minus, so this is n1, n2 minus g2 by g1 times n1. Times. So, this is our gain coefficient. So, now the emission and gain coefficients are clear coming from our cross section right uh, uh, emission and absorption cross section that we saw earlier. So, now let us look at you know the, the scenarios where uh, what happens if um, you know alpha and gamma are positive or negative right. So, um, alpha nu is greater than 0 and gamma nu be less than 0 if n 1 is greater than g 1 by g 2 into n 2. So, let us let us look at this. So, your um, uh, alpha is going to be positive when the n 1 is greater than g g 1 over g 2 times n 2. Okay? So, the n 1 has to be higher. Um, in that case your gamma uh, uh, or your gain coefficient will be negative. Right, so that is natural. So, if, if n2 is much larger, then you are going to have uh, a negative term here. So, it is going to be negative, the gain is going to be negative, and your alpha absorption is positive. So, this, this is one scenario, right. And the next scenario is gamma nu is greater than 0 and alpha nu is less than 0. So, this happens if n2 is greater than g 2 over g 1 into n 1. Right? So, this is the next scenario where you have greater uh, uh, n 2 compared to n 1. So, in this case gain is going to be positive while your loss is going to be negative. All right. So, these are all the two uh, states right, that we uh, define as absorption and, um, and, and gain. So, now we can even you know simplify this right um, by considering this absorption and uh, emission cross sections are now very different right. So, we have two different factors what if we say uh, the emission and um, uh, um, you know uh, the uh, absorption cross sections are uh, identical right uh, that means g1 and g2 are also equal so let's say we assume that the de degeneracy right is also equal so the idea here is let's say gamma uh, uh, sigma e equals to sigma a which is equal to sigma and g1 is equal to g2 okay so in this case these terms will vanish okay and this would imply alpha nu is greater than 0 and gamma nu is less than 0 if n 1 is greater than n 2 and gamma nu is greater than 0 um, and alpha nu is less than 0 if n 2 is greater than n 1. Look at this scenario. This is a this is a very uh, familiar scenario right you must have studied in your basics uh, of um, of lasing and, and light emission right you should have higher population in the excited state in order to have gain right so for gain for gain n2 should be greater than n1 so for gain n 2 should be greater than n 1. So, this is the condition that we should all try to achieve in order to make sure that you have light emission from the system. Otherwise, your light is will be the light will be just absorbed and nothing would be emitted from the system. All right. um, so, there is a, a slightly a, a different way of um, uh, writing this as well. I will I'll just mention it uh, for for completeness. So, you could write the absorption coefficient as a function of susceptibility here. So, you could write this as 
the imaginary part of the susceptibility right um, and the same thing is true. So, when your susceptibility is greater than 0 and you have omega over n c where your your susceptibility is less than 0 right. So, here we have as uh, a steady state right and this is the population inversion and this is equilibrium state right. So, um, this is this is uh, uh, very vital to understand um, you know uh, when you will have emission ok. So, you cannot have emission when you are in equilibrium the, there should be a non equilibrium in order to generate photons ok. So, you have to drive the system to uh, non equilibrium in order to do that, but then uh, when you are having loss or gain how will um, uh, the light intensity evolve right. So, light intensity along the propagation So, now we talked about absorption and emission, but now when the photon is going through the system or, or a optical wave is going through the system, uh, what will be the effect of having loss and what is the effect of having gain in the system right. So, let us say uh, we throw out the phase information is not required, then your intensity uh, when you are um, you know when your susceptibility is greater than 0 the sec uh, the imaginary part of the susceptibility is greater than 0 here we have loss right. So, that means your d i over d z is nothing but minus la alpha times i ok. Um, and when you have um, a gain right where your susceptibility is less than 0 your d i over d z will be gamma times i ok. So, this is this is how uh, 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 you know your um, intensity is going to increase as you move along uh, the direction of uh, uh, of gain while you will have you know um, uh, absorption as you move along gain ok. Alpha times i all right. So, this is uh, this is how we understand this uh, and uh, now uh, we have a gain in the system right. So, uh, there is a propagating uh, wave and we have alpha and we have gamma. So, the gain and loss uh, uh, parameters and now we can apply this uh, to our system right. So, now we can use this gain and loss um, into our amplifying medium or lasing medium in order to build uh, uh, light emitters. So, let us look at that in the next uh, lecture session. Thank you.